What's up my friends, welcome back! This is the part of the tutorial where we are going to build the body frame of the Spitfire 3D printed plane. Make sure you check all the information in the description. You will find there all the downloads and extra photos that you need. Ok, so go to my webpage and download the STL files. You will find a link below. You will download a zip file. Create a new folder and extract the zip file in that folder. These are all the 3D files that we have to print. They are already divided into separate printing parts and water sealed. They are also already in the best printing position so you won't have to rotate them. There are two folders that you could print. There are the full parts and the divided parts. I recommend you to print the full parts because that means less gluing later. In the divided folder I've just cut the parts into multiple smaller parts in order to print them one by one in smaller amounts of time. For example, to print this part it took me about 6 hours. If the printer gives me problems about let's say 4 hours, I will lose the entire part. But printing it in two separate parts makes you lose less time if the printing fails. Ok, so print each part one by one using two perimeters and 20% infill and using PLA material. I've put between parentheses if the part requires support material or not. Make sure that the part is stick to the base of the printer. I've used elastic hairspray to ensure that it sticks to the base. Try not to use high speed printing and be patient. This is quite a large project to print but it will look awesome. Ok, so all the parts are designed with double layer walls, so they will be quite light and elastic. Once we've printed all the parts we can start gluing everything together. I've used this model glue and some super glue to stick all the parts together. I first glue the parts using super glue. But super glue is not elastic and cracks in a second. So after that I've applied one or two layers of this elastic plastic model glue that I bought from a Chinese store. I've put some extra glue in all the corners to make sure that my plane will have a good strength. Don't glue the tip of the plane yet. There is where I will place the brushless motor and the electronic speed controller. I've glued the main body first and left for the end the tail and wings. Glue the wings separately. It's now time to make the plane controls. Those parts are the ailerons, the elevator and the rudder. As hinges I've used yogurt case plastic because it's very elastic and resistant. Cut some yogurt case plastic. Make them about 1 cm wide. Glue the control parts together. Once they dry glue the hinges inside of the control holes. Now glue the controls on the plane wings and tail leaving about 1 or 2 mm space between the controls and the plane body. Once they dry make sure they can move without problems. Once the glue of the wings dries I've glued in place these two wood sticks inside of the wings holes. These are some normal barbecue sticks that you can find in any supermarket. So these wood bars will give some strength to our wing base. Cut the wood to a reasonable length and glue the wing in place with a lot of glue. Finally we glue all the tail parts and the body frame is done. In order to make the plane look better and increase the strength I've painted it. Cover all the controls before spray painting. I've used matte elastic spray paint. This gives the plane a nice look and make it more resistant. Don't put too much paint layers because this will make the plane heavier. With 2 layers and just 20 grams more I've made my Spitfire look a lot better. Cover the glue stripes and make it more resistant. Now it's time to add the servo motors for the controls. I've used this 9G micro servo motors. You will find a link to the eBay page in the description. We'll need 4 of them. First cut off the screw holes from them. We won't need that part. I'll start by gluing the wing motors. Flip the plane. Using a solid wire pass the servo wires through the wing hole till you reach the inside of the plane. This is a tricky part so be patient and be careful not to break the plane body. Before you glue the servo motor make sure that it's in a 90 degree position and glue it with the shaft facing the front of the plane. Now let's put in place the tail motors. Glue them in the servo motor case passing the wires to the hole to the inside of the plane. Make sure that the shafts of the motors are one in the opposite way of the other. 
If not, they won't fit. We won't connect the servo motors to the controls for now, because we don't know if we are in the middle position of the motors or not. We'll do that later in the electronic part of this tutorial. Now the last part is screw in place the brushless motor. I've used this 2212 brushless motor and a 20 amperes electronic speed controller. Solder the wires as shown in these schematics before you screw it in place. Once the motor is in place, glue the tip of the plane with a strong glue. The body of our Spitfire plane is ready. In the next video we will see how to connect all the electronics and upload the multi wave firmware to the Arduino and start controlling the plane. If you have any question, just ask. I'll be happy to answer. Please like, share and subscribe and motivate me for more videos like this one. Thanks again and see you later guys.